Now if you want, you can completely move your database here to the SharePoint server, but there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. First of all is that SharePoint will only accept databases with the extension of ACCDB or the secure extension ACCDE, which is a training video we already covered. The default ACCDB is, again, when you create a database and you save it to your desktop in 2007, that's the default. So either one of those two extensions, SharePoint will accept. Now when you move your database to the SharePoint server, it'll automatically save a copy as a backup and store it on your computer, but also gives you the option to check save a copy to the site and create shortcuts to your access forms and reports. Think of it like splitting your database if you watch the training video on splitting a database. You also have the option to split it and just have shortcuts near the front end linked to the back end on the SharePoint server, okay? So to get started and move this database completely over to the SharePoint server, come up here, click on the external data tab, go to the SharePoint list group and click on move to SharePoint. It'll ask you for your URL, of course. And then you have the option to save a copy of my database to the SharePoint site and create shortcuts to my access forms and reports. So again, this is the option. You can be the front end. And then again, on the SharePoint server is going to be the back end containing the data. And then it says, OK, go ahead and select a library on the SharePoint server you want to dump this into. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse. Should prompt me for a username and password. Go ahead and type it in. Tab, spacebar to check it, hit Enter, and type it in again. OK, in here it's my shared documents. That looks good. I'll double click on that to open it up. You know, there's my other two uh, databases here. I'll go ahead and publish the integration database in the same shared documents folder and just click OK. And there's the address going right to it. Looks good. Click Next. Wait for it to upload. OK, looks like we're done here. Click OK. And then, of course, you may always have some warnings depending upon the type of data that you're trying to share or upload versus what SharePoint can accept. I can go ahead and check the box, show the details. It gives me a few warnings down below. So the following lists have been created on SharePoint, and it gives me the table info here. And then it says we've created a backup copy of your database. It's called integration underscore backup in the same folder where I had my original database integration stored. Now I have the backup. And then the following URL will take me to the published copy of my database, and then warning it had some issues, click Finish. Here's my move to SharePoint site issues. Again, the table I can double click and open it up. Instead of a report, we get tables here that we can look at by object name, by field name. Go ahead and close out of that. And then the tables, doesn't this look familiar, the little arrow? If you recall in the Access Level 3 training video, we covered linked tables, and that's all it means is this table's linked. This is the front end. If I double click to open up the table, it's going to connect to the site because the sites work where it has the data. This is just a shell. It's just showing me what's on the SharePoint site. Then, of course, you've got your queries and forms. If I go ahead and double click on a query, notice how it spins. It takes a second or two. It doesn't automatically pop up for such a small query here. It's because, again, it's going to the tables for the data. And the tables, the data isn't stored there, but it's linked to the SharePoint server or the table, the database that's on the SharePoint server. Make your changes. When you're finished, you can go ahead and publish to the SharePoint site and update it. And in fact, let's um, go ahead and close out of here. And let's go to that SharePoint site and see what it looks like after we uploaded it. Hit the down arrow key and hit Enter to go to it. Cool, there it is, integration. So you want to take a look at it. In fact, you can click on the drop down arrow and get a few options. You can edit it, view the properties. You know, it's the same as just clicking on it. It'll give you the prompt anyways to read only or edit and click OK. And then as far as editing it goes, it wants to dump it down on my computer here. I can select the desktop. Maybe I don't want to overwrite anything else and click Save. And there we go. Again, it gives me the front end because when it comes to editing, the back end is going to stay on the website. So you can tell by the links that we have here that, again, it's a link when you hover over it. You get that little pop-up right there, the little message, and it says that the address is taking us right to the secure SP SharePoint site. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.